Hi, Pete Moore, Gunmark TV, and welcome to Savage's 110 Storm. Nice and light to carry, can be a bit kicky depending on the caliber. Uh, also, barrels get a bit hot and zeroing takes a bit of time. But what they're really there for are for the serious mountain hunter, for the people that want to go above and beyond in terms of getting out there and hunting. And weight is then a serious consideration on anything. So if you compare the weight off by taking off a smaller scope, uh, a lighter synthetic stock, a slimmer barrel, that's what happens. And this is what the Storm is. As I say, it has a very slim barrel. This is a 20 inch, the gun's in 6.5 Creedmoor. Personally, I think the 20 inch is a bit too short for the Creedmoor. However, over the chronograph, though the guns weren't, so the ammunition wasn't making the figures, which doesn't surprise me, it wasn't far off them, so no real complaints there at all. Savages 110 is a lightweight hunter. When I say lightweight, I mean light. Um, the barrel is very slim. It's 20 inches long and 6.5 Creedmoor. One and eight twists, which is nice. Um, the action, all stainless steel, has been relieved, as you can see in place there. It's been machined away just to lose an ounce or so. The gun comes with, uh, looks like a set of weaver mounts. The Accu stock is a nice, synthetic well checkered and it, as we shall see later on it has a system for adjusting length of pull and also comb height it's good nice free float magazine is four shot uh, detachable type trigger is the standard accu trigger from savage which is great it's easy to adjust by the user and really that's it for the rifle but if you want a lightweight hunter um, then something like this in the calibre of your choice. This is a great rifle, it really is. The tank mounted safety, which is a corker. Come right down into it. We can see here the action is cocked and safety in its safe position to the rear. All you do when you want to make the shot is just get your thumb, slip it forward, have a red dot there, which is easy peasy. If we go back to the trigger, which I mentioned, it has a Glock-like inner and outer blade. The inner blade is like a safety, almost like a safety catch, and the outer blade at the rear is, is the actual trigger. As you make your um, finger position, your finger takes up that, and it fires. Let's do that again. If for whatever reason, which seems impossible, it could happen, the outer blade is operated. If you listen, you hear dull clunk rather than that big striking the firing pin. That means that the um, the action has fired but it's gone into like a safety safe lock position. All you've got to do is recock and you're back there. The Accu stock is generally a nice design. You go into it, you can see where the recoil pad is. It's got like a bit of a hog's back cone to it which is comfortable. Pistol grips, lightly angled but uh, full and that checkering is really nice. Moving up, the fore end is quite slim, but um, it is rigid for what it is, and also again, it's scalloped out with that lovely checkering. If you go to the front, you can see there's a reasonably generous free float on that barrel, which is nice. But what I do like is the AccuFit system. If you look down here, we can see one, two, three, four combs, that being the highest, that being the lowest, and on the production rifle, they will clip in. And these are LOP letter pull spacers. You just clip them in. And uh, the, this comes as a package. And also they come with different length screw if you want to map. It's all very simple and, and user adjustable. The Zegger brothers sent me two different loads of Hornaday. First up is their Precision Hunter, which uses the ELDX bullet. Uh, this has an improved ballistic coefficient, a more heat resistant nose cap, and uh, gives good, better figures down range and seems to hold its energy longer. Um, this is a 143 grain load. A little bit different is their Outfitter, which uses a 120 grain GMX, which is Hornaday's non-lead. Basically, it's a monolithic hollow point ballistic tip. Um, again, non-lead is coming. Um, I've done a feature for it in Gunmark. I'm gonna do a video on it very soon, but that's something we're gonna have to just get our heads around when we see it. Um, figures wise, the Precision Hunter is quoted at 2,700 feet per second. 
though the chronograph won't lie about it, we'll see when that happens. And the Outfitter, uh, a very impressive 2,925 feet per second, which is cracking on. So over the chrono, these figures were slightly reduced. And as I said, I don't think that a 20 inch barrel is the ideal length for a Creedmoor. However, the figures perhaps challenge that statement. Taking the bolt out the Savage is a little bit different and also a little bit fiddly, but you get used to it. You've got two things to operate. This pullback catch here and the trigger. So what you do, use the middle finger, you squeeze the trigger all the way back, pull it right in like that, lift up the bolt and it comes straight out. The reverse, squeeze that as hard as you can, that in, and fiddle it in. Okay, let's do a bit of trigger time. Though it's 6.5 Creeper isn't particularly kicky calibre, in a rifle that's probably shaved off a pound, a pound and a half, you do feel a bit more recoil and also there's a bit more muzzle whip. So that's worth bearing in mind. Let's ease the mag in. Safety catch is off. So that wasn't too bad at all, but just be aware. Right, grab three rounds of outfitter. But neither round is arduous to shoot, but just bear that in mind. Overall, this is a nice little rifle, but I do like the lack of weight. Uh, and as I get older, I, I feel some of my heavier rifles that I never felt a few years ago. I could happily have one of these to shoot. I quite like it in the end of the day. So, it's tough, lightweight, accurate. I mean, the uh, 143 grain ELDX was shooting 0.8 uh, 100 meters off the bench like this and I did note that the this forge scope has quite a thick and busy reticle and I think if I put a scope with a finer reticle on I reckon that group would have gone down to probably half inch um, the GMX didn't shoot as well it's shooting about 1.5 I think around about that uh, but as I said before with um, certain loads and certain weights uh, some rifles don't like it. I think that the twist rate might be a little bit too tight for the 120 grain bullet. Might be. Um, but in terms of some shooting deer, um, it, it's more than acceptable. Again, I believe with a finer reticle, that would have been dropped down to a most more acceptable one inch. But there it is. Um, if you need a lightweight gun uh, that's going to be tough and capable of shooting well, then Savage's 110 Storm lightweight is well worth a look. As ever, if you like the video, say so, tell your friends, support the site, comment, and if you want to see anything else or get in touch with me direct, just uh, give me an email on pete.more at aceville.co.uk. I'll see you again soon. Good shooting.